welcome to another week of Bulldog Blitz. I'm Caroline Ramagas, standing in for Bert Pickard. This week, the Bulldogs took a tumble on the second leg of their long opening road trip. We'll have a post-game interview with head coach Chad Huff. And we'll have a chalk talk segment with defensive coordinator Steve Davis. In addition, we'll also get a behind-the-scenes look at how the soccer teams prepare for the 2015 season. But first, let's head to Sanatobia with Don Hammock and head coach Chad Huff to find out what went wrong against the Northwest Rangers. Here with Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College football coach Chad Huff. Chad, it was a tough, uh, tough night tonight on the road, another tough team way up in the north. Uh, what happened out there tonight to kind of get you guys slowed down? Well, I'll tell you, you know, um, we didn't, didn't do a great job of um, – establishing some um, some first downs there early you know playing behind the chains offensively um, you've, you've got to you've got to play in front of the chains and um, we make a mistake here a mistake there um, that hurt us that got us in second long third long situations and um, what happens then you got to punt and um, they win the field position battle you know I think we struggled all night with um, field position and uh, putting the defense in bad situations um, their guys made some plays um, we had some opportunities we didn't make the play when it came our way and um, you you know, we got to correct it, got to fix it, and got to get better, and we will do that. And I have no doubt um, that we will bounce back. And, and um, you know, I know we'll have a great week of practice, and um, you know, and get ready for South Division play next week. It's uh, you're still zero and zero in the South Division. Uh, you got everything to play for going forward. Is that going to be helpful to motivate? Yeah, guys? everything we want is still out there in front of us. I mean, every every goal, everything we want is um, out there in front of us. I mean, this isn't the, the first time this has happened, and uh, we're, we're going to bounce back from it. And um, I was telling the kids tonight, you know, it's it's um, you know, this is what you find out and find out a lot about folks in times like this. And um, you know, I think we've got some some kids that are going to attack this head on, and then we're going to bounce back and um, and fix our mistakes and um, have a chance to to start South Division. Like you said, we're 0 and 0. And, um, you know, we just got to um, find a way. They call it the toughest uh, conference in America for junior college football, and uh, I think we certainly saw that tonight up here. It's a tough place to come and play and another tough long road trip to get it started. Thanks a lot, Coach. Yeah, thank you. Now let's go to Chalk Talk with Bulldogs defensive coordinator Steve Davis. <laughs> Hi, I'm Coach Steve Davis, defensive coordinator, linebacker coach here at Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College. We're starting our 12th season here together and have been extremely successful on defense here in the past, and we hope to continue that. And I want to talk today a little bit about some of the reasons and principles that we use that's helped us be successful over the years. Uh, we, we feel like we want to be a use the KISS principle. Keep it simple, stupid. We, we are trying to have our defense and our philosophy so simple that our players do not have to think that they can react and play. And so the, the simpler it is for them, the easier it is for them and the easier it is for them to play hard. We want it very difficult for our opponent, but easy for us and simple for us. Here's the principles that we use. Principle number one is eliminate gaps from inside out. Do not give a, ball, a runner with the ball a straight shot to the goal line. Try to make them keep bouncing it outside and outside, and, and as the term says, run it east and west until there's someone there to tackle them. Number two, never get outnumbered. That means we're going to have more players there than they are. Uh, if, if a team has two receivers on one side, we're going to cover them with three defensive players. If they've got one receiver on the other side, we're going to double cover him with two players. We're going to get more numbers than they have. Many times we'll watch opponents on film, and the, and the opponent that we're about to play will have a big play, and one of our players say, yeah, but coach, they, they were outnumbered. That, that wasn't very smart on their part. So never get outnumbered. Number three, never get out leverage. Leverage means do not give someone an angle on you. If a linebacker lines up too far inside or too far outside, or a safety, then a blocker, a tight end, has an angle to leverage and pin him off and not allow him to get to the ball. So never get outnumbered, never get out leveraged. Number four, understand, offensive players are actors. Offensive players act out an assignment given to them by their coach. They're told run a post, run an out, run in this gap, run in that gap. Defensive players are reactors. They have to react to what the offensive player does and the offensive scheme gives them. We, we allow our free safety and our linebackers and all of our players to, to make checks and adjustments during a ball game. If a, a team, if we may have a call made 
and the uh, offensive team lines up in a, in a different formation or motions, or we, we make checks to make, that our def make our defense fit whatever they're trying to do. So offensive players are actors, defensive players are reactors. We must react and react quickly. Number five, play hard and chase the ball. This is our golden rule here. We, we start every practice with a thing we call perfect play. They run on the field, they have to be perfect. They have to have great stance in perfect position, great alignment, and then when the ball snaps and they're given a direction, they have to sprint past a cone, which is their pursuit angle, as fast as they can get there. Not to the cone, but through the cone. So when they do this enough times, we feel like that when they get in a ball game, it will be a natural reaction that they can sprint and chase the ball without even thinking about it. The KISS principle, keep it simple, stupid. Again, we try to get everything named that our players understand what's that. We, we do not believe in rope memory, that the, kids have, the players have to think about things. We want them thinking about the offense and not what they're doing. One of the small examples of that is we run a blitz called Bob. Bob means both backers blitz outside. And of course, Bib means both backers blitz inside. Now this is just two small examples of what we do, but our whole system and scheme is set up to make it easy for the players to understand so that they can play hard. The harder we play, the better we play. I started with Gulf Coast Community College I started with Gulf Coast. I started with Gulf Coast. And I'm finishing with confidence. Let's head to the soccer field and talk to Chris Handy and Jackie Rhodes to see how the Bulldogs soccer teams are getting ready for this season. I think it's definitely a gritty group. You know, they work extremely hard. They've shown that, uh, you know, come game day, they're really they're laid all on the line. You know, a lot of times, you know, it doesn't show in film how hard a team works, but in this team's case, it shows in film, which means they're really putting the effort in. Um, so normally that's an issue that we have to address, and that really is an issue we have to address with this team very much. So that allows us to kind of focus on, you know, the actual game of it. And, you know, it's a fun team to coach from that angle, to know that whatever you line up, you know, how everything's going, they're going to work hard for each other and, and really try to get a result. Yeah, that's always the same. You know, we want to end with a state title. And then obviously, you know, once that's, you know, complete, can we make a run at some of these other state teams for a national spot? You know, it's always a very, very challenging thing to do. But if I guess if you don't set your goals that way, then you'll always come up short, you know. So we're definitely reaching to, to play as long as we can, and, and, and we want to be playing in November. I'm really excited that they've trusted me with this position. Uh, it's, I think it's something I've been looking forward to. I came in last year as assistant coach and learned a whole lot under Chris Handy. I think that was beneficial for me from the transition from high school to college. Uh, I'm not sure where I'd be without having that experience last year, but I'm very excited about uh, leading the girls' team this year and in the future. And, really show them what girls soccer here at Gulf Coast can really do. Uh, I think our goals really are just trying to form a foundation um, to build the program in the future years. Uh, getting some hardworking kids in here that are willing to put in the work and the time and the effort uh, to make this program something really special. Uh, there's been improvement uh, as far as team play, um, being able to communicate on and off the field, and just hard work in general. We're just out here every day pushing through the heat, pushing through the injuries. Um, and I think that we're going to keep getting better by each game that we go along. That's our show. Thanks for watching. I'm Caroline Ramagas. Bert Pickard will be back next week. Until then, go Bulldogs!